Hey guys, Mad Mantis here, back with another YouTube video. So today we're going to be talking about molting and the different signs of molting and what to do, um, the do's and don'ts, and all kinds of stuff. So one of the big signs of um, a molting mantis is that it will start refusing to eat and it will bat away any food, it will refuse food. So that's one of the biggest things that you'll notice. So don't worry, it's totally normal. Just put your mantis back, stop bothering it, leave it alone. It should be okay. Uh, the last time I fit this particular mantis was, um, I believe, two days ago. Um, I was trying to feed her again and she wasn't having it. So that's one sign. Um, another sign is that it's not moving very much. So she's been like this the past two days. She's just been in the same spot. She's pumping her abdomen and not really doing much. So uh, usually, you know, normally it'll just move around dance around a little bit but she's been pretty still the past few days another sign is they are kind of hanging loosely so I don't know if you've noticed your mantis but usually they're pretty tightly coiled up when they're perched but she's kind of hanging a little bit um, more loosely as you can see here her raptors aren't fully pinched in um, her abdomen's hanging low so that's another one you'll be able to tell especially with bigger mantises um, that the way that they hang, it looks like, you know, they're, they're they, they look like they're almost dying. So uh, don't worry, it's totally normal again. That's one of the biggest mistakes that beginners make is that they see their mantis doing this and then they grab them and they start handling them because they think there's something wrong and then when they're handling them, they're not moving. So that's one of the things is just, just leave them alone. Um, I've made this mistake before. Thankfully, the mantis molted perfectly fine. I was super lucky, but they're not going to be moving very much or very fast. They're going to be super slow, clunky, look like they're dying, so don't worry. It's totally fine. Um, another sign is that they have swollen wing buds. So this particular mantis isn't going to be an adult, so her wing buds aren't really swollen, but um, you'll notice that when they're going to become an adult, you'll see really, really swollen wing buds wing buds on their back. So things that you should not do uh, is obviously don't touch them, don't move them around, don't disturb them, don't try and feed them, just leave them be. They, you know, they're getting ready to molt into their new skin, so, which is a pretty stressful situation for them. So definitely don't disturb them. Make sure that they are upside down in their enclosure. Sometimes you see a mantis and they're hanging off the side, which is actually super dangerous because they will fall. Make sure that they are up high on their enclosure. Sometimes they do choose to molt really um, a little bit too low on their enclosure and you know they end up touching the ground, they become crooked. So just keep an eye out for that. Make sure that they're at the very top of the enclosure or that they're high perch, you know, high enough that they're gonna be able to come out of their skin and not touch the ground or anything. So that's another thing to watch out for. Uh, make sure to keep them hydrated still. I have a side window for water so I'll spray it on the side and make sure that they're still hydrated and you know raising that humidity in there so it helps them molt and then you know after they're molted just don't touch them they, their exoskeletons need to harden so uh, leave them alone for two or three days and then you can handle them but definitely don't touch them within that time just because they're hardening up and you don't want to damage them by accident uh, don't try and feed them don't try and hold them, don't try and touch them, don't try and do anything with them. Just wait two, three days, you know, until they're all fully hardened up and then you can try feeding them and holding them and doing all that. We're gonna check on this girl tomorrow and we'll see if she's molted. She might even molt later on today. She's been like this for the past two days, like I've said. So um, we'll leave her alone for now. Um, but post down below if you guys have any, um, any other signs that you see when your mantis is about to molt uh, that might be helpful to other people um, and I'll see you guys when hopefully she has molted okay guys so we are back um, so it is four days after that initial part of the video and she has finally molted it looks like she is now a sub adult so she molted last night it seems I checked on her every day since that first part of the video and she was still pretty motionless on top and you know, this just kind of shows you how long they take to molt sometimes and I know you start getting worried because you're, you know, wondering if you should feed them or if there's something wrong, but as you can tell, she molted just fine. It looks like she just ended up taking a few days to molt. It does take a lot of energy from them and 
she is she is a little bit on the older side so then her next molt is going to be an adult i had initially noticed that she had been motionless um about five days ago now i believe so you know it was a while so i know some people get worried because you know their, their mantis isn't moving or anything but you know she's totally fine let me show you her molt i found she batted it away there it is so she squeezed out of that um yeah looks like she's pretty and healthy and she will be an adult um, on her next molt but if you guys have any questions regarding uh, molting or regarding anything at all just comment down below or comment down below anything that I may have missed I'm just happy that she has finally molted I've been waiting for her I've been checking on her every day misting her as usual so I'm really glad she she's finally out again if you have any questions please put them down in the comments below if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you want to see any more Mantis related content, please subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.